Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I am Gigi of GigiMadeIt.com. You know the knitter, the blogger, and the iconic orange lady. This is a special weekend edition because we're rounding up on the last week of Black History Month, and I got something on my chest, something that just happened that I, I want to talk about. And it's not the first time that it's happened. It's happened before. But I, I just want to put it into perspective. So maybe if you have done this before, that you'll give it some thought before you do that. You ready? Let's get into it. So as you guys all know by now, if you've watched last week's episode that I did go to Vogue Knitting. And you also know that that is one of my favorite things about being a part of this community is going to the events and being amongst the people and supporting the small companies and seeing the new patterns and seeing what people are making. All of that is probably my favorite but the part of that that I don't talk about is stereotypes. And, and I, and I want to talk about that because, one, I want to say that I need to get off my chest and get out of my way right now is we do not all look alike. Is we do not all look alike. Period. Point blank. Yes, we may be female. Yes, we may be black. Yes, we might have natural hair. Yes, we may wear glasses. That does not mean that we look alike. And it is totally disrespectful to approach someone and blatantly call them somewhere. And I, maybe blatant is not the word. To call them someone else. So, for example, this weekend, you know, I'm always GG, GG. So I'm trying to you know, make eye contact, wave, and if they're coming over, fine. But this weekend, I watched this woman pointing at me adamantly, lady die, lady die, lady die. So I turned around because is she here? Because I haven't seen her probably since the 2019 Vogue, probably. Did I see? 2020 Vogue was the last time I saw Diane. So I'm like, I'm looking around. And then I realized... That she was pointing at me. And I'm like... So I could have walked over to her and explained that I'm not Diane. But I chose not to. And I chose to keep walking. Simply because it takes a little effort. Just a very little effort to pay attention to what makes me Gigi and what makes her Diane. And to just assume that, yeah, I do know someone black in the industry... And any person that you see in the industry that's black has to be the one person that you know. No. It's totally disrespectful. It does not feel good. Not for nothing. Not for nothing. The orange is a dead giveaway. I've had people walk up to me that don't know me, that don't follow and say, oh, you're the orange lady. You're, you're the lady that everybody talks about with the orange. I'll take that versus saying, oh my God, I love the sweaters that you make for your dogs. I love Dana to death. I love her dogs, all of them. I am not Dana. And it's a joke for us. Shelby calls Dana mom because that's her mother. Because clearly, I can't tell you how many people have stopped me and say, I just love what you do with your dogs and I'm like what the most I share is me walking Gunner with the the matching sweaters Gunner and I don't have a matching sweater so like seriously before you go up to somebody and wholeheartedly just passionately tell them what you love about them and you're not even talking about them think twice like yes I know if we go back to 2019, there was a big rush. And I just had a post and I had some people admitted that they did follow me because I was black. They did follow me because they were looking to diversify their feed. I get that. But if you are going to go out and you are going to 
approach someone that you follow or that you would like to follow or someone that you've heard about, don't assume, right? Nine times out of 10, there's name tags. They have the name around the neck. Like coming up to me, coming up to any of us, because none of us like it. It's not to say that the person that you're calling me that I feel a way about, it's not that. Take the time to figure out who is who. There's more than one of us. There is more than one of us. And you would think at this point, right? How many years past 2019 are we? And we still have the same, the same stuff happening. And I, I think we should be beyond it. But just from a hum, one human to another, it doesn't feel good. And if you don't like to hurt somebody's feeling, do a little research first before you go up to somebody. I've seen people see me and are not sure if I'm who they think and they'll question or they'll hear somebody else call my name and then they'll come up to me instead of calling me someone else. There's more than one of us. I promise you that there's more than one of us. So think about that, please. Keep that in mind the next time that you approach somebody because it doesn't feel good. It's just, it belittles, it, 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 it just makes me feel like you didn't put any effort into trying to get to know me, right? And and it's not your job to get to know me, but if you're following me and you want to meet me and you want to take a picture of me with me, walking up to me and calling me somebody else, you actually want to take a picture with Dana. I don't, I don't, I don't think I saw Dana today yet, if she's here. Does that make sense? Like, don't do that. Think about that first. Don't, don't do that. The other thing that happens to me a lot at events that bothers me, but my grandmother taught me, if you don't say my name, you're not talking to me, so I will keep going. I will not even acknowledge you, but I watch people watching other people. I'm a people watcher. Let me just say that first and get it out the way. I observe, I watch, and... It's just part of my personality. I've always been that type of person. But I will watch people watch and like, who, who is that? Like, why is everybody, why are they taking pictures with her? Like, I don't know who she is. Who is that? Okay. You don't have to know who I am. But what's with the negative approach? Why? why? I can't tell you how many times I've watched people watch other people. And then once that person has taken a picture with me and walked away, they'll go ask them, well, who is that? And what's the big deal? And then after they explain, now here they come. Oh my God, I just found you on Instagram. Don't, don't be phony. Because five minutes ago, you wanted to know, you didn't say it out loud, but you want to know why is all everybody gathering around that black woman? That's what you wanted to know. And now that you know, and you couldn't, you walked past me 59 times and rolled your eyes and looked me up and down and tried to figure out what's the big deal. And now that somebody explained to you or you took the time to go, look, now you want to come. Oh my God, can I take a picture with you? No, actually, no, you can't because you don't really want a picture with me. This, I know there's, you know, the saying out there. Everything got to be about being black. But when you are black, everything is everything about being black. Is. I, I, I walk every place I go, there's that level of discomfort, right? Right away, I have to wonder if I'm being treated a certain way because of, right? Am, do, am I just dealing with a rude person or am I dealing with a person that judged this book by its cover before they even had any idea about the contents of my character? This is an everyday ongoing thing. I walk my dog. I like to wear hoods. I, I'm, I love a hood, right? So me walking my dog, if a cop rides past and they slow down, my heart pounds unmercifully because first of all, why should not, why can't I wear a hood regardless to my nationality? I, it's just, you don't understand. Being being me in the spotlight, it's uncomfortable, right? Um, how sad is that? How sad is that? So if you are a person that 
are don't live in a diverse environment you don't put yourself in diverse situations but you are wanting to do that now welcome but just be conscious of how you approach people be conscious of what you say because you can do more harm trying to be diverse than just staying away does that make sense i'm hoping i'm making sense i try to say things in a way that it might make you uncomfortable but it doesn't put you on a defense and it'll make you think about what it is that you may have done in the past and how you can change that going forward right because it's rough out here in these streets it is and you would think in an industry where i find so much joy i shouldn't have to find so much discomfort as well yes so I'm not going to harp on that. I'm going to let that go. But I needed to get that off my chest. I am Gay Glaspy, GG of GGMadeIt.com. I am not Diane. I am not Dana. I am not any other black maker that you thought. That's who you know. That's who you've latched onto. And you see me. So I got to be the one black person that you know in the industry. Do better do better. If you are sincerely um, about being an ally, this is not, um, let me hear reply. Let me tell her about herself and you better appreciate the fact that I even, this is not what that's about, right? This is about, if it's you, you look in the mirror, have a conversation with yourself and do better. If it's not you, then I'm not talking to you. Yes? As always, find what makes you happy. Go there often on purpose. Everybody have a good weekend and I will see you guys next week.